Hey kids. Hey everyone. Hi there. Hi everyone. Hey kids. Hello students. Hi everyone. What's up guys? Welcome to week 6 of our virtual basketball camp. Today we're going to be learning about rebounding in our drills and joy in our devotion. We'd love for you guys to send in videos of you guys participating in the drills or reciting Bible verses. So I hope you guys are ready for today. So grab your water, your basketball, and let's head out for drills. Hey everyone, it's Coach Lindsay. We're going to be talking about joy this week. So work hard in your drills and I'll see you afterwards. Hey kids, my name is Coach Victoria and welcome back to another week of North Hills Virtual Basketball Camp. This week's uh, focus is going to be on boxing out and rebounding. But before we do that, let's get into some stretches. All right, so for our first stretch, we're gonna do a flamingo. Um, right side first, count to 10. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch to left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you're gonna put your right arm across right arm across your chest and pull. Um, count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Now we're gonna right lunge um, and count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's the end of the stretches, and now let's get into the drill. So for this first drill, you're going to want to find an open space where you can put a ball in the middle and you're going to definitely want to have a partner, whether that's your sibling or your parents, someone who you can do this drill with. So the point of this drill is to focus on boxing someone out. You're going to want to stay low and they're going to be behind you um, because you're going to be defending the area first and you're going to be low and make contact and slide your feet as fast as you can to keep them from getting the ball. So we're going to do five reps of five seconds. So we're going to do this five times and um, this is my partner. So let's go. So make sure that during this drill you really make contact with your partner and make sure that they don't get into your area. This is your area and you do not want them to get the ball. Um, so we're going to do this five times, five seconds each and we'll even do a scenario where my partner does get the ball and then you'll see how we switch um, at that point. All right, make sure to keep in contact with your partner, follow them. If you lose them, it's okay, just catch up. Um, again, we're doing this five times, so it's okay. You have, you have a lot of times to practice this. All right, timer ready. Go. Follow them, follow them. Stay low, stay low, stay low. Make sure to slide your feet, slide your feet, slide your feet, and stop. All right, we're gonna do it again. Ready, and go. Make contact, make contact, slide your feet, slide your feet, follow them, follow them. Make sure you're always making contact, and stop. One, two, three more. Ready, and go. Stop. Follow, your, stop. follow your partner, slide your feet, slide your feet. It's okay, catch up, catch up. Good job, two more times. This time, she's going to beat me to the ball and then we'll switch off. Ready, and go. Slide your feet, slide your feet. All right, so she got the ball. So now, she's gonna be um, following me as I go around the circle. Ready, and go. Feet, slide your feet, see how she's staying low, she's making contact. Watch her follow me, follow me, and stop. Now, one more, um, she, she'll do it again. Ready, and go. Slide your feet, slide your feet. Make contact, just stay low, stay low. Don't let them get in your area, and stop. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. I know that drill can get a little tiring, so make sure to drink some water, stay hydrated, 
And here's the devotion. Hey everyone and welcome back. Grab some water, we're gonna sit down and talk about joy. Um, does anybody know what that means, the word joy? Finding a way to be happy, even when things don't go your way. Our verse this week is Philippians 4.4. 4. It says, always be joyful because you belong to the Lord. I will say it again, be joyful. Um, the bottom line is you can be joyful and have joy no matter what's going on. Um, the people that really understood about what joy meant were the people that followed Jesus when he was on earth. There were followers um, that followed him around. They saw his miracles. They saw his love for people. And they also saw him die on the cross and three days later rise again. They saw the most amazing thing in history. No one had ever seen that before. And they were so excited. They were so joyful. And they started sharing that good news with everybody they met. Um, more and more people believed because of what they were sharing. And they knew that anyone who trusted in the Lord could have eternal life. So they were living all joyfully together. They were happy. They were living as believers and followers of Jesus. But that doesn't mean they had an easy time. That doesn't mean bad things weren't happening. Um, in fact, in Acts, in the Bible, chapter 5, it talks about some of these believers, the disciples of Jesus, were thrown into jail. People didn't like that they were sharing so much about Jesus, so they were thrown into jail. And that night, an angel of the Lord came and broke them out of prison and said, don't stop telling people about this new life that you have. And so the disciples, Peter and the other disciples, went out and they continued to share that the, the joy that they have in Jesus. They continued to share the good news. And so they got arrested again. And so they were brought before the teachers of the law. And they were telling them the good news. And the teachers of the law got really angry. And in Acts chapter 5, it says, Leave these men alone. This is one of the... Um, teachers of the law. They said, leave these men alone. Let them go. Let the disciples go. If their plans and actions only come from people, they will fail. But if their plans come from God, you will not be able to stop these men. He understood that what these men were saying, they were so excited and they were so joyful to be sharing about Jesus. But he knew if it was not from God, that it would fail anyways. It wouldn't um, bring good news to the people. It would just be a short thing. So the leaders had the apostles, the disciples, the believers, they had them beat and told them, do not speak anymore in Jesus' name. Do not say another word about this good news. And then they let them go. And listen to this part of the verse, because this is the most important part. The apostles were full of joy as they left the Sanhedrin. They left the teachers of the law. They considered it an honor to suffer shame for the name of Jesus. So this was even more joyful to them than anything else because they were able to suffer bad, bad times, bad, bad things, and hard times for the name of Jesus. Um, they were able to find joy even in the midst of bad things happening them, all around them because it wasn't about what was going on their joy was in Jesus as their savior. All right, so this next drill, we're gonna be focusing on closing out and boxing out. Um, you're gonna need a partner for this again. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna start at the baseline, kind of in the middle, like where the free throw line is. So you're gonna be aligned with your partner and you're going to pass them the ball and right as you pass it, you run towards them and you're gonna close out. And when you close out, you really wanna kind of shuffle your feet as you approach them. So you're gonna close out and then once they shoot the ball, you're gonna put an arm on them, making contact and you're gonna box out so that they can't get the ball and you're getting the rebound, all right? So we're gonna do five of these. And here's, here's I'm gonna do a slow motion and then we'll do the fast. So again, pass. Close out, make contact, get the rebound. All right, so let's do five of these.
ready and go pass close out make contact get the rebound all right we're gonna do this again ready and pass close out get low make contact and it's okay if they make the shot it happens in a game so you're just gonna have to go with the flow pass close out make contact get the rebound three more times two more times pass close out get low get low get the rebound one more time pass sprint close out get contact get the rebound good job guys all right good job guys um you're working really hard i know you were um, and even though i said do it five times you can do it as many times as you want practice makes perfect um great job and stay hydrated and i'll see you guys next week hey everyone good job on your drills today so just in summary to review we were talking about joy and finding a way to be happy even when things don't go our way and remember our verse, Philippians 4.4, 4, always be joyful because you belong to the Lord. I will say it again, be joyful. Um, this week as you go, think about how things may happen, good and bad, but we don't find our joy in those things. We find our joy in knowing who Jesus is and what he did for us on the cross. Um, we can't wait to see you next week. I'm going to pray and we'll talk to you later. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for this time we could share together talking about your word and how joyful it is to know the good news and what you did for us on the cross, God. And even more importantly, Lord, that you rose again three days later. I pray, God, that you would help us to remember this joy and give us the boldness and the courage to share the joy and your good news with other people. We pray all these things in your name. Amen. See you later. Thank you.